foods to avoid or limit if you have kidney disease. Every day, the kidneys filter the blood, and about one half to two quarts of fluid and waste products are removed from the blood and passed out of the body in urine. This function is crucial for the body to function efficiently. In addition, the kidneys create hormones that help produce red blood cells, promote bone health, and regulate blood pressure. Hence, it is important to eat correctly for kidney health. However, people with kidney disease need to control the intake of sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Why is phosphorus, potassium, and sodium harmful to people with kidney disease? Phosphorus According to nephrologist Jeffrey Block, associate clinical professor in medicine at the University of Colorado Health Sciences Center, as more phosphate goes through the kidney, it accelerates macrocalcification of the kidney's tubules, that means phosphorus may calcify the kidneys. That can depress kidney function and also increase the risk of fatal heart attacks. Nutritionists recommend that healthy adults with normal kidney function get between 700 mg and 1,200 mg of phosphorus each day. However, for people with kidney disease, phosphorus intake must be reduced. Potassium Potassium is an essential electrolyte, which is a mineral our body needs to function properly. It is important for our nerves, muscles and heart. While we need potassium, having too much of this mineral can be bad. Normally our kidneys keep a healthy balance of potassium by flushing the excess potassium out of our body. If the level of potassium in our blood gets too high and the damaged kidney is unable to flush out the excess efficiently, you have a condition called hyperkalemia. If your potassium spikes suddenly, you may experience difficulty breathing, chest pain, or heart palpitations. You would require immediate medical care as it can lead to muscular problems and changes in your heart rhythms that can become fatal. A normal range of potassium is between 3.6 and 5.2 millimoles per liter of blood. A potassium level higher than 5.5 millimoles per liter is critically high, and a potassium level over 6 millimoles per liter can be life-threatening. Small variations in ranges may be possible depending on the laboratory. Sodium Sodium is a mineral found in salt, sodium chloride. It is used for seasoning our food or added to food for more flavor. People with chronic kidney disease CKD, must watch their intake of sodium because in later stages of CKD, the kidneys are unable to get rid of excess sodium and fluid. Dietary restrictions vary depending on the person's stage of kidney disease. The dietary restriction for people with early stages of chronic kidney disease will be different for people with end-stage renal disease or kidney failure. However, avoiding or limiting certain foods in your diet may help decrease the accumulation of waste products in the blood, improve kidney function, and prevent further damage. In this video, we will highlight some foods which people with kidney problems should avoid or reduce their intake. Number 1. Avoid processed meat and meals. Processed meat such as bacon, sausages, ham, jerky etc. Had undergone procedures wherein chemicals and preservatives are added to extend their shelf life, texture and flavor. Processed meat is bad for health in general. Why is this so? This is because a large amount of sodium is present in such preserved slash cured meat. A 3 ounce bacon, about 85 grams, can contain as much as about 1,400 grams of sodium, which is equivalent to about 60% of the sodium allowance for people with kidney disease. Besides a high level of sodium, processed meat is also high in protein, which makes your body produce more wastes. However, when the kidneys are not functioning properly, they cannot eliminate the excess waste from the blood. Instead of processed meat, kidney disease patients should eat fresh meat, such as chicken as it has lower levels of sodium and has no preservatives. However, you must consult your doctor on the amount of protein you can take per day. Another group of processed food kidney patients must avoid is packaged, instant and pre-made meals such as frozen pizza, microwavable meals, and instant noodles. These processed foods also contain a high level of sodium and are not nutritious. Enjoy the video, then give it a like and share it with your friends. This will help the channel. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel 
and hit the notification bell, and you will be informed of new videos. Number 2. Dairy Products We often recommend the consumption of milk, cheese and other dairy products as they are rich in various vitamins and protein. They are also a natural source of phosphorus and potassium. However, milk and dairy products are not ideal food for people with kidney disease. Are you surprised to hear this? Milk and dairy products are often recommended for strong bones and muscle health. However, for people with kidney problems, consuming too much dairy and other phosphorus-rich food can be detrimental to bone health as the phosphorus-rich food can result in a buildup of phosphorus in the blood, which can pull calcium from your bones. Over time, this can make your bones thin and weak. Your risk of bone breakage or fracture will increase. A glass of whole milk, 240 milliliters, provides about 8 grams of protein, 222 milligrams of phosphorus and 349 milligrams of potassium. Hence, people with kidney problems should limit cow milk and dairy products intake to avoid the buildup of protein waste in the blood and phosphorus which weakens bones. Instead, almond milk and unenriched rice milk are suitable alternatives as they have less potassium, phosphorus and protein than cow's milk. Number 3. Avoid dark colored sodas. In general, sodas are not good for health because of the sugar content. However, do you know that phosphorus is added during production of these beverages to enhance the flavor, prolong shelf life, and prevent discoloration? Unlike plant-based or animal-based phosphorus, phosphorus in the form of additives is not bound to protein. It is found in the form of salt and is highly absorbable by the intestinal tract. A 200 ml glass of dark-colored soda can contain between 50 to 100 mg of additive phosphorus. This is not good for people with kidney disease. Drink water or lemon water for hydration instead of sodas. Number 4. Avoid alcohol. Alcohol can damage the kidney cells as it makes the kidneys less efficient in filtering the toxins present in the blood. Further, alcohol is a diuretic which will flush out the water in your body through frequent urination, leaving the body dehydrated. This will cause imbalances in the electrolytes and increase the risk of kidney stones and other complications. For people with chronic kidney disease, the function of the kidneys has already decreased. Drinking too much alcohol might increase the risk of causing further damage to the kidneys. Number 5. Artificial Sweeteners Artificial sweeteners such as saccharin, aspartame, sucralose etc. can affect kidney function. In a study on 3,318 women, which was published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, the researchers looked at the role of artificial sweeteners on kidney function. The researchers found that there was an increase in kidney function decline with intake of just two diet sodas per day. The study showed that consumption of two or more servings of artificially sweetened diet soda was independently associated with EGFR, estimated glomerular filtration rate, decline of 30% or more. EGFR is a measurement of how well your kidneys are working. The study concluded that consumption of two or more servings per day of artificially sweetened soda is associated with a two-fold increased odds for kidney function decline in women. Hence, people with kidney problems should avoid artificial sweeteners and use natural honey instead. Number 6. Red Meat Excess consumption of protein such as red meat produces byproducts that stress kidney function. When your body breaks down proteins in your diet, urea is released into the bloodstream. Your kidneys filter the urea from your blood and release it via your urine. For people with kidney disease, urea can build up in the body and cause adverse side effects. Eating red meat should not affect healthy kidneys. However, with kidney disease, eating excess amounts of red meat can impact your health. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition followed 17 participants who had both diabetes and kidney damage. When the study concluded, the researchers found those whose diets did not include red meat had less albumin a waste product that indicates kidney damage than those who eat red meat. If you have impaired kidney function, do not eliminate protein from your diet. 
Protein serves as an energy source and helps your body maintain muscle mass. However, consult your physician and he may recommend decreasing your protein intake. Number 7. Potassium Food Potassium plays a role in keeping your heartbeat regular and your muscles working right. Healthy kidneys will keep the right amount of potassium in your body. However, when your kidneys are not healthy, your potassium intake through food must be monitored. You have to limit certain foods that can increase the potassium in your blood to a dangerous level. If your potassium is at a high level, you may feel some weakness, numbness, and tingling. However, you will experience a regular heartbeat or may have a heart attack if your potassium level becomes too high. On the other hand, low potassium levels can cause muscles to become weak. Consult your doctor or dietitian on the right amount of potassium you can consume. Keep in mind that it isn't just what you eat that counts, but also how much you eat. The potassium intake for people on potassium-restricted diets is typically 2,000 mg of potassium per day or less. Hence, portion control is important. Even a food that's considered low in potassium can spike your levels if you eat too much of it. Foods are considered low in potassium if they contain 200 mg or less per serving. Some low potassium foods include berries, such as strawberries and blueberries, apples, grapefruit, pineapple, cranberries and cranberry juice, cauliflower, broccoli, eggplant, green beans, white rice, white pasta, white bread, egg whites, the following foods contain over 200 mg of potassium per serving. If you have kidney problems, you should avoid the following high potassium foods or limit your intake. Bananas. Avocados. Raisins. Prunes and prune juice. Oranges and orange juice. Tomatoes, tomato juice, and tomato sauce. Lentils. Spinach. Brussels sprouts split peas, potatoes and sweet potatoes, pumpkin, dried apricots, milk, low-sodium cheese, brand products, nuts, beef, chicken. Enjoy the video. Do share if you or any of your friends have experienced any of the food mentioned in relation to kidney disease in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. And if you like this video then make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so that we can keep coming up with your favorite content.